Good morning. It's Saturday, October the 15th, and I'm going to try to do a vlog today. I said I would never do a vlog because the thought of bringing my camera out and recording in public scares me, but I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. So see what clips I get. Uh, we are heading out of town today to do some shopping. I'm hoping to look for some ankle boots, so we'll see. And I'm hoping to convince my husband to start looking for Christmas trees. We tried looking last year to replace our tree, but we didn't really find anything last year. And I'm looking for a six and a half foot and everything seems to be seven, seven and a half feet. So I'm gonna try again this year. I've seen a few online, so hopefully I can find them in store. So, I'm going to just take you along with me and we'll see what we get up to today. So we have stopped at a Christian bookstore and the first section I go to is the bargain section and I spot When Twilight Breaks by Sarah Sundin. That is very tempting. I am loving Sarah Sundin's writing. Then I see The Hearts We Mend by Katherine Springer. I really enjoyed that book. Then I spot a couple others that I might want, like the Lynn Austin. Oh, and then I see The Reading Chapel by Rachel Hawk, and I read that book earlier this year and absolutely loved it. And others that I'm not sure of. Then we come to A Rumored Fortune. Yeah, <laughs> not my favorite book of the year. But then I see More Than Words Can Say by Karen Whitmire, and I love that book. And then a bunch of novella collections. Castaway and Cornwell, I have heard a lot of people talk about that book. Remember Me, I Own, I Haven't Read It Yet. Then we've got the Romancing America series, or a bunch of different books. I have read a few of them. Um, I have not read them all, obviously. Um, I say obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were okay. And then I see Irene Hannon's Point of Danger. That is the book that I am currently reading. That is the book that I have in the car when we're in the store. Then we, I see Protecting Tanner Hollow, which I just picked up very recently. Then we've got more, and I see Karen Kingsbury, Robin Lee Hatcher, Oh, Castaway and Cornwall again. I move this a little bit too fast, I think, but for my first vlogging in a store, I want to say I'm sorry because it's going to be hard on your eyes. So then they have a whole wall of more reduced fiction books. This is pretty much the same selection that was here when I was here last time, which was a few months ago. But I, you know, I take a scan just in case. Go around the corner to see, is there more? No, those are Bibles. Then I go the opposite way to see, oh, oh, there's another end cap here of stuff. But I've read a good portion of those ones. And no, those are not fiction either. And so that is it for the clearance, kind of the bargain section. Okay, so we have come out of the bookstore, the Christian bookstore, and my husband has gone into uh, a fish store and I just don't really care that much to look around them. So I will show you what I picked up, if I can get it out of the bag. I will show you what I decided to get. So I text my friend and said, hey, do I get this book for $9.99? And she said, is it paperback or Kindle? And I said, paperback. She said, yes, go for it. So I got When Twilight Breaks by Sarah Sundin. As I told you, I think she's become a new favorite author. 
And then I also picked up more Than Words Can Say by Karen Whitmire. This one was $7.99. I have read this one, but I rated it five stars, but I did not write a review for it. So it's one that I want to reread because, I mean, I loved it. So those are the two books that I picked up. So, yeah. Let's just keep adding to my spending list. Why not, right? So we stopped at a thrift store and I'm looking, but I haven't really seen any books that I want. But I did find this and I used to like this and it's only five bucks and 50% off. So two fifty, I think I can handle that. My husband has found a friend. <laughs> so we found some Christmas stuff, but it's too tall. <laughs> Basically, this is the type of tray I want. Okay, so I'm just checking in. It's still Saturday afternoon. My husband has just run into Costco to get some cheese that he forgot to get when he was at a different one earlier this week. But it is insanely busy right now. The parking lot, we have to park in the very far back corner and people are parking on the road and it's just, ugh, I was not going in. There was no way. <laughs> so instead I'm gonna sit in the car and read Point of Danger by Irene Hannon. Um, I have the hardcover hard copy version. I took the dust jacket off and left it at home before we left. So I've just started this. I'm only on chapter two. Um, so far, I mean, chapter one has hooked me. I'm really liking this character right now. But this is book one. I have book, I own book two and I have book three in advanced reader copies. So I am really looking forward to reading to binging them this week so I will keep up undated on my thoughts but that's it for now I'm gonna go back to reading while I wait shopping. As you saw from some of the clips that we did see some Christmas trees but we didn't get any because as I said it was the wrong height but at least I have an idea and my husband knows what I'm looking for now. And on the ankle boot front that was not successful either. I tried on a ton. Either didn't fit or just wasn't right. So that hunt continues. So I did find a couple things. Thankfully, you saw that I found some books and I did buy that um, TV D or DVD TV season. Yeah. But we also went to Bath and Body Works. So I picked up some soap. So I got Peach Bellini. 
um, pumpkin cupcake, warm vanilla sugar. This is probably my favorite scent. I get it every single year. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin. Uh, leaves. This one was recommended by the clerk there, so I thought, well, we'll try it. And then I got sweet cinnamon pumpkin. As I said, I like pumpkin. So we also bought a new waffle maker. We have, we love making waffles, especially it's kind of our tradition every long weekend, one of the weekend days, usually the Monday, but not always, we will make waffles. But I've had our waffle maker from when I was had my apartment in college. So I don't want to think about how many years old that waffle maker is. And I've just, the last couple times we've used it, I don't feel like it's really gotten clean because the trays don't come out. So you have to just wipe them down. And I just, I don't feel like it's as sanitary as it could be. <laughs> um, so we saw this one in the flyer and it was 50% off. So this one was $24.99. So I couldn't pass it up. And so it's kind of a cute little shape instead of just your basic circle. I don't know what you would call those shapes, but thought, hey, for 25 bucks, even if it only lasts for a couple years, that's fine. And then I thought, I'll show you my shirt. I got this one this week from Amazon. I love it. It is so comfy and it was advertised as a sweater and it's not, it's really thin, like it's really thin material. So it felt like a t-shirt when I took it out of the bag, but it is comfortable and warm and I just, oh, I love it. And I mean, it stripes. I, yes, I have a thing for stripes. I love them. And gray is one of my favorite colors, so yeah. So it is Saturday night now. There is a start of the hockey season has started. So tonight is the first official game for Hockey Night in Canada. And it's the Ottawa Senators playing the Toronto Maple Leafs and Ottawa Senators are my team. So I am going to go watch that. We don't have any sports channels, so I can only watch it when it's Hockey Night in Canada. So Saturday night is kind of my hockey night. Otherwise, I listen to the games on the radio. But that's okay because I can read while I listen. But so I actually get to sit down and actually watch the game. So during the game, I plan on painting my nails. We've got the kind of the dark purple I've had and it's starting to really get chipped. So I want to change it out and I'm not sure what color I'm gonna go for yet, but I've decided that I'm going to keep this vlog going and I will leave it for tomorrow and kind of see what we get up to tomorrow. Until then, have a good night. Happy Sunday. So it's October the 16th today. We just left church and now we're just gonna do a couple errands before we go home for lunch. I'm hoping to look at a store for maybe ankle boots. You, you never know, right? Maybe I'll have luck today, maybe not. And then we need to go pick up a couple birthday cards and I'm thinking about looking for a new reading journal for next year, but when I say reading journal, it's really basically a notebook that I've turned into a reading journal. Um, and I don't do like the bullet journal, the creative crafting type stuff. It's really just your basic notebook that I keep track of stuff. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe this afternoon I will show you kind of my, this year's kind of briefly just so you have an idea. Um, it's nothing really very creative, but that's kind of the agenda for today. I plan on making leap meatloaf for supper tonight, and I don't know what else we're going to do this afternoon, but we'll see what happens. So it is now Sunday afternoon, and I am just sitting on the couch just reading my book. I'm still working on Point of Danger. Um, we did not find any boots. Today. I did find a pair that were nice, but they didn't have my size, so yeah, they only had nines and I need a ten, so we the search continues, but that's okay. Um, what else has happened? We had lunch and that's about it.
nothing really too exciting. I watched a little bit of TV and been reading. So yeah, I just thought I would check in. So far I'm really enjoying this book. It is definitely keeping my interest. The only kind of negative comment I would make, I guess, is in chapter two, so many more characters are introduced and I was a little confused who they are and how they kind of fit into the story, but I know that will be revealed in a bit. So yeah. So basically, and while I am reading, I am just watching Show Jumping. Uh, I just like to have it on in the background. I'll see if I can flip my camera. So. So that's, I just, I just like to have it on kind of a background audience. I've seen this competition before, so I know who's going to win. So yeah, so just checking in for now and I will check in again later. Okay, so I just had to come back here and, here and just share about what I just read. So basically these two characters are talking about books and what they're currently reading. And the one character responds, at the moment, I am immersed in a heartwarming series set in a charming seaside community in Oregon. <laughs> that series has to be Hope Harbor, written by Irene Hannon. I love how she included that without saying, oh, that just, that just made me laugh and I had to share it. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I am making the mini lean meatloaves for supper. This is what they look like. It's very, very simple. It is just ground beef, stovetop stuffing, half a cup of water and barbecue sauce on top. And here's my recipe for it. So. Yeah, it's very simple, very good. I love it. So I'm just gonna put them in the oven for 24 minutes. I tend to have to cook them a little bit longer than it might have says, but our oven cooks slow. So that's okay. And now we're going to have mashed potatoes and some sort of veg with it. And these are this is one of the suppers that I just absolutely love. Okay, I guess you don't want to see the raw meat, right? Okay. Supper is served. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Okay, so I mentioned earlier today that I would show you the notebook that I'm using for my reading journal. So it is just a basic three subject notebook. I got it at the dollar store. And on the first page, I have my reading goals. And then my TBR bingo board. So I still have a few books to read yet before the end of the year. And so I started this following the bookish knitter, but I decided to do it differently now. But I'm still writing down all the numbers she calls. Uh, she calls two each month. Then I have my reading in review, so the number of books that I've read per month, and at the end I'll have my total. Then I'm keeping track of when new releases come out, so that I know I really should have left more space, because I have nowhere to write what's coming out January of 23, for example. So. But this was my first year doing this, so I kind of have ideas of how I want to change it up next year. Then I have my Read Your Bookshelf Challenge that I'm doing with Chantelle Reads All Day. So I was doing pretty good. Then September, I haven't read. October's I haven't read yet. So we've got some catching up to do. Then on the next page, I have, this is again part of my goals, is to read every day. So then I color in as I read. I am a couple days behind on keeping track, but I have read them. I just haven't marked them down. Then I just, I started creating a list of the physical books I want. Again, I wouldn't be doing this next year because my list is too long. Then I have the book series that I want to reread that are on my physical shelves. So I have read some. Again, 
I don't really like the way I've done this, so I'm looking at changing it for next year. Then we get into the months. So when I started in January, I just did the basic, kind of the books I wanted to read. Then I've got books purchased. And then on the back of that month, I have the books I read and what I rated them. Then this was when I came up with my reading reward and spending limit. So that is kind of, that's the note there. And then what I earned in January, what I spent in January. Then February is the exact same thing. Again, books read, the earning. Then I took part in the Olympics readathon that Lovely Day with Holly did. So I printed off kind of the readathon and then I wrote down what books I read for each one. Um, then I decided to come up with my TBR wheel for planning my TBR. So then I just, I created the prompts. So that's just kind of my notes. Then we get into March and this is the first month that I used my TBR wheel. So I've written down the prompt and then the book that I went with that prompt. Then all the books purchased. So this was my intro to book outlet, which was probably pretty dangerous because I bought quite a few books. I actually had to carry it on the next page. <laughs> but again, I have my books read and then my spending tracker. Then April, same thing. So basically every month is the same, May, June. So as I said, it's a very basic notebook. July, August, September. Again, books read on the back. And we're working on October. And, oh. Again, I haven't updated because I have finished book number 79, which was Until Leaves Fall in Paris. So I have my spending started, but obviously the month isn't over yet, so I can't finish this. Then I have pages set aside for November, December, and then my 2022 review. So on this, I will do kind of what my favorite books of the year were, what my least favorite were, that kind of stuff. I'm not, you know, maybe the total number I've read, genre breakdown. I don't know exactly. It's just kind of blank. Then I just have video ideas. And again, just very basic video ideas. Uh, then it all continues on video ideas. Let's go on. Then I have a section that I put for book reviews. So in here, I've got book number one, and then I've got the title of the book, when I read it, how I read it, and then just notes, and then my rating for the book. So again, this has changed, it, not a lot, but a bit over the, over the past months. So, for example, let's skip to this one. So this is book number 75, Blue Skies Tomorrow. So I each month I change a color so I know kind of which month. So you'll see the titles in blue for this month. And then I've got kind of the basic details of the book. But then I've put when the book was set or where the book is set and then who the main characters of the book were so that I can easily kind of flip back through this and be like, okay, I know I read a book set in Texas, which book was it? And then I just have very brief notes of what my thoughts were and then I'll write down the quotes that I like. And then again, my rating of the book. So I have that for every one again. I haven't done book number 79 yet. I need to work on that. Then I just left a bunch of space. And then at the back, I have my calendar. 
So this is where I keep track of when I'm doing a YouTube video and what that video is going to be on or when I put up a blog post with my reviews. So I have one for, it's a three month breakdown. So April, May, June is on this one, for example. Then I have, oh, sorry. Then I have a video tracker. So I have what video I've done, if I've recorded, if I've taken the pic, the thumbnail pic, if I've sent it to my editor, who is my best friend, who does them for me, have I sent her the book cover she needs for that? Have I created the thumbnail? Have I received the edited video back? Have I uploaded it to YouTube? And what date is it going live? So this just helps me kind of keep track of which ones I've done, especially when, because I tend to pre-film quite a few days in head so that she has them. I know, okay, I've got this one done. I've taken the thumbnail. It's all ready. I'm just waiting for the edited one back so that I can upload it. So I have a few pages of that. So now we're just kind of working backwards because I ran out of pages before the book review. <laughs> so then I'm working on ideas for goals that I want to set next year or kind of what. So I have quite a few books on my bookshelf that are not on Goodreads, which means I've had them on my bookshelf since 2011 and haven't read them. So I'm just creating a list of those. Then I just created any books that I have DNF'd. So I've only DNF'd the one so far this year because as I've mentioned in the past, I do not, in I tend to not DNF. I bought the book for a reason. I started it for a reason. Let's, you know, continue. And I always have high hopes that it'll get better. So yeah. Then again, just, it's just random notes for myself. And then just more blank pages because I know, so as I said, I was working backwards. So this is a three subject notebook with 250 pages in it. And I started my book review section in section number two. And it's only going to get, I'm out 79, 80, 81, 82 books. And I'm, I mean, I've already read 79 this year, so I'm going to read more than 82 by the end of the year. So I didn't want to start on the next page because I want them to flow. So that is one of my challenges for next year is trying to figure out how I want to do it because I want to leave my book review notes. They're not going to be as detailed as I think I want to kind of shorten this. I don't need some of this information because it's in my spreadsheet that I keep track of. But I want to be able to quickly look and see, okay, where was that book set? Who were the main characters? What were my basic thoughts of the book? but I would like all my book reviews to be together. So they kind of need to be at the back of a notebook. So I'm kind of, and I don't really want to have, I don't really want to have two notebooks. So I'm working on it. And as I said, I want to, I want to definitely leave more space for the new releases to track them. I want to put all my goals together instead of a bunch of pages in between before the next goal tracker. And so there's a few things I need to kind of clean up and work on, but I'm really enjoying having this for a reference and just being able to keep all my notes that are related to any book stuff all together rather than having it in one notebook here, or one piece of paper here, or yeah. So that is a very basic overview. As I said, it's not pretty. I don't spend time fancying it up or anything like that because I just, I like my basic notes. And yeah. Um, so that is my reading journal. So now I see that Krista from Books and Jams is doing a reading sprints with Amy from It's Bookish Life, Amy's Bookish Life. So I'm going to join in and watch that and get some more reading done. And then I will check in in a little bit.
Okay, so I am on chapter 10. Yes. So I am on chapter 10 of this book and I am really enjoying it. There is somebody after Evie who is a radio personality. They have threatened her multiple times in a few different ways. And so a police detective is researching, uh, or try researching, looking into figuring out who this person is and what their motivation is and how to stop them. And it's also providing some protection for Evie. But the two are drawn to each other by the police detective, Brent, is against relationships completely. And he also is unprofessional to start a relationship with somebody involved in a case that he's working on. So he's trying not to do that as well. But they feel drawn to one another. And they uh, the more they talk, the more they find out they have in common. And it's just... I, I like these two characters <laughs> so far and knowing Irene Hannon's style and kind of how series work, there's other characters that are being introduced that I'm like, hmm, I think book two or maybe book three, they are going to be the main characters of. I don't know because I have not read the descriptions of the backs of two and three. So... I don't know who the main characters are, but I right now I have guesses on who they are going to be. But so far, I am really enjoying this book. There are some scenes that are kind of like, ooh, what's going to happen next? And then some that are just really lighthearted and just fun. <laughs> And yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I, I don't want to say too much because again, I don't want to give away what is happening because I don't want to provide spoilers, but I am really enjoying it. I'm kind of looking down at the book because I'm trying to like, hmm, what do I want to, do I want to share anything that I've read that kind of was funny, but I'm not really sure. Because, I, as I said, I don't want to spoil it if you're going to read this book. Which, again, as of right now, I'm on page 140, no, 139, and I'm really enjoying it. And there's 375 pages, so I'm not, I'm a third of the way through, maybe. Can I do math? But, yeah. Okay, so the sprint's still going on, so I'm going to keep reading, and then I'm going to join in the little chat that they're doing. And I will check in again in a bit. Okay, so I'm just popping back in to say goodnight. I'm going to end the vlog here. The reading sprints are, is over now. And I am at chapter 16 of this book. I should maybe... I, let me grab the dust jacket so that you can see what the book is. So this is Point of Danger by Irene Hand. So this is the cover for the one I am reading. Um, basically, the reading sprints ended and I was in just starting chapter 15. And I had a friend who said, you can't end on an odd chapter. And every time since he t said that to me, I have to end on an even chapter number so that I'm starting with an even number the next time I pick up the book. So I had to read to chapter 16 so that I will start on chapter 16 when I pick it up again. But yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed watching kind of what I've done this weekend. Wasn't really overly that exciting and don't have a ton of clips, but for a first vlog, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. And if you like kind of what you've seen so far or some of the books I've mentioned, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Thank you. Bye.